Hi guys, today I will be starting a new series of tutorials, like my old videos of Python, this time I will be using Node.js, because we're gonna start learning how to make a Discord bot under JavaScript language, and trust me you're gonna easily understand every bit of these upcoming tutorials, so let's start. So today, I will be starting with the basics of making a Discord bot. Firstly, you need to install Node.js, I will let the link in the description below, make sure you install it so you can run your bot, you need to install the LTS version because it's more recommended for Discord bots, I already have it in my computer, so I will cancel this up. Next you will need to install a text editor where you can type your code and execute it. So I'm using today the Visual Studio Code, which is well known as a code editor, and he is the most easy and useful code editor for any programmer, I already have it too, so I will let you install this if you haven't. Now you have to create a new folder where we can put the needed files while making this bot. You can name it anything you want. Now type cmd in the search bar of the file explorer and hit enter, you will see a command prompt pop up. Type npm init y, and a package.json will be created. After that you need to install the needed modules that we gonna work with them. Type npm i discord.js and .env, if you didn't recognize this last one you gonna understand when we gonna start coding. Now type code dot to open the versus code in our bot folder. Now create a new file called index.js, this will be the main javascript file that we will run to start the bot. Now follow me up. You're gonna need to import the client object from our module, then type this line of code to config the .env module so we can make a new environment that we're gonna put in our discord bot token so no one can see it, and that by creating a new file called .env, then you're gonna need to provide your discord bot token like this. Open the discord developer portal that I gonna leave its link in the description below. Follow my steps. Here we gonna specify the bot permission that we gonna need to make in our bot. I'm gonna need to select the application commands option because we gonna learn how to make a professional bot with slash command in the future videos. Now copy the link and paste it in your browser to add the bot to your server. Now we need to make a new client, just follow my steps and do like what I'm doing. Here we gonna specify the intents that the bot gonna need, because the bot can do what he does like sending messages or reading commands by specifying his intents, like his permissions, but not the same thing. Now log in with your token from the end file. But before we run our bot we gonna make a new event listener. It's like a person who when the bot starts, he will be waiting for something to happen to do some specific tasks, it's called the event. We can make this event start by typing client.on and specify the event, here I'm gonna make the ready event so every time the bot is ready or online the script will print in the console my bot is ready. But before we run our code you need to start debugging it for the first time so he can run without any problems. Just click the start with debugging right there. I forgot to save the code. Now we can see that the bot is running it online. After that you are not gonna need to debug the code you can just run your code with this command. But before we end this video, I will show you a good trick for your code, type npm install or inodemon. This module will make your code restart itself after saving a new change to your code so you are not gonna need to type node. every time you need to start the bot. You need to add a script to the package file so your bot gonna start the code under nodemon every time you type npm run dev. So as you can see, I'm gonna change something in my code and save it without running the code again and again. It will start the new code itself. I hope you enjoyed this video, so leave a like and a sub to follow our next videos.